So a CANSAT is a simulation of a satellite that can be built and operated by students. It uh, looks a little bit like this, it fits inside a CAM and it contains a lot of the systems that you would find in a real satellite. For example, it has a battery for power, it has a communication system so it can send data to the ground, uh, sensors to take measurements in the atmosphere and an onboard computer to program and uh, process everything. Um, the students can carry out a lot of different kind of missions with this. Um, the teams in our competition are asked to carry out a primary mission which is the same for everyone and a secondary mission which they can choose and be as creative as they like. The primary mission is to take readings of temperature and pressure throughout the descent and transmit them every second to the ground. And the secondary mission can be anything. Some of them have chosen to take more readings in the atmosphere, such as light intensity or dust measurements. Others have chosen to focus on the parachute, so to make a steerable parachute and try and control the descent and landing of the CANSAT. And others have missions that take place on the ground. For example, they're mapping the ground with cameras and GPS measurements, or they uh, have a rover to exit the CAN and take some measurements on the ground after landing. Yeah, maybe the most difficult part was uh, to integrate uh, all the circuitry and cable and sensors into such a small place. The main thing is about uh, team work because uh, we are seven in the team and we uh, could um, divide our work and someone, while well, someone was dedicating to the software part, uh, the other one was dedicating to the hardware part and it was quite fast. We learn to work in a team and when we have a problem to don't give up and share the problem and it was sometimes really hard but now we are really proud to be here and to see what the other teams work. Uh, we are all beginners, we had no idea about processor programming or Arduino language and therefore we had to learn that one and uh, in school we learn very basic uh, electronics so nothing like this so the whole thing was completely new for us we have to learn a lot of things and uh, do research and a lot of hours were spent in this work but it's a very it's a rewarding job yeah, it's well, it's fantastic, it's a brilliant experience, even to do a project of this kind of level, something that you wouldn't normally get to do until late university or after university studies, getting to do it when and still in schools, a brilliant advantage, it's good. Uh, I think it was a lot of fun, we learned a lot, uh, none of us really knew anything about uh, the, the technical aspect of computing before we started this and now we know well enough to do this.